Okay, this is my 2010 Dodge Challenger RT. It's got a 5.7. Alternator crapped out on it, okay? So, as soon as you hook the battery up, the alternator got red hot, killed the battery. It was a little scary, actually. So, apparently, the... Um, if you know you know you did some research the uh, voltage regulator is built into the PCM in these Dodge vehicles after 96 I think um, so either you have to change the alternator send the ECM out get it fixed which is like 300 bucks or maybe more or 250 maybe is the lowest I found it then a lot of people are saying that it didn't even fix their problem. So the only other alternative really is to put a external regulator in. So you put the old style regulator. And what I did was I mounted it right underneath, nice and tidy. I tied it into, I believe it's the, there's an alternator slash EGR fuse. Okay, what I found was, now you look here, it's, I, I don't like my stuff butchered up. So this is as tidy as I could get it, okay? So I put, you gotta put an inline fuse. I think I used a 15 amp fuse in there. Um, so just look up the schematic. It's super easy to wire. Just solder everything and, you know, want heat shrink everything. Um, I believe it's the, Okay, uh, I want to say it's, I want to say it's the second one from the bottom, the white, it's like a, a black with a white or a brown with a white, um, I tag that, it's a 25 amp fuse, the other, you know what, it is that, it's the one with the white stripe right there, and then next to it there's nothing. So, if you ohm that out, the other side of that, it goes to nothing. I think it might feed back into the um, fuse box to feed other components, other fuses. I don't know. So, what I did was I just tapped the feed because that's the feed for the other side. So, the other side would be that empty spot right there. I wanted to put a pin in there. But I didn't want to risk damaging the connector and all that. And, you know, sometimes things are a little too far. So I just tapped into that, soldered it, okay? Taped it, then taped around all everything. So it's nice and tidy. And then what you want to do is, so this then, okay. You got to run a ground from here, from the alternator, to the regulator okay so it doesn't so it maintains it maintains it maintains voltage okay and then what i did was i got an alternator for an 06 charger or the 57 whatever they're all the same that has the different plug on the back a different driver okay they they want to sell you a modified driver it's really just the old driver for the old style alternator. The alternators apparently work differently. So if you can, if you change that driver into a newer style alternator, it'll work. But what I did was, instead of replacing it with the alternator for 2010 Challenger, I got a 2006 um, Charger alternator, which has... The different plug on the back so then you just have to get the plug you have to get the pigtail for that so then i just so if you could see in there it's kind of hard to see um the uh so what i did there was i just wired that in made a little harness up to there it's super easy it's two wires um and then what i did to fix the battery light was um I took the old driver out of the old alternator, okay, plugged it into the stock plug. 
I put a big thing of heat shrink around it so it wouldn't touch anything or arc out on anything because it has exposed, you know, there's, there's exposed parts on there that could possibly, you know, short out, okay? So you want to either wrap that in tape or whatever. I plug that in there. I wire tied it to the uh, oil pressure switch wire there so it tidied it up. If I ever want to put it back and fix the ECM, I could do that, okay? So, um, and they sell you a resistor to go in there, and they call it some kind of, I don't know, modified thingamajig bullshit. It's really just a 25-watt, a I think, resistor that you'd have to cut the plug off and then wire that in to get rid of your battery light because it won't because the uh you know the ecm won't see the resistance from the alternator if you don't have something there so it'll set the battery the battery light now my this all happened and my battery light never came on one time okay it was i put a voltage regulator in here and noticed my voltage was jumping all over the place and then I had no, I had battery voltage, okay? So when I changed the radio, I put that in, okay? Now, if you don't, you need to put a volt, you're going to have to put a voltage regulator in here, like something to monitor the battery voltage. Like I have battery voltage on my radio too, but I have it there too. But you want to main, you want to monitor your battery voltage to make sure everything is copacetic because if something happens to your system now, battery light will not come on. Okay, so um, let's see. Is a key in here? I think I'm sitting on it. Oh wait. All right. Twelve point two. Fourteen six. Fourteen four. You know, it says fourteen. It's supposed to be fourteen three. I use the AC Delco. Um, AC Delco pre-96 external voltage regulator for a Dodge, you know, and then I have no battery light, okay, so, um, and, yeah. now here, let's see, see up there it says 14.3, and then down in there it's 14.4, so, but, that's maintaining. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing that. You know, Chinese voltage regulator. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? What are you going to do? But, you know, no battery light. I'm charging. Everything works great. You know, that's all. Um, that's pretty much all you need to do. Is, um... You don't have to buy that big harness and all that crap, you know, you get, you want the pigtail on this side too, so you got to buy a pigtail for that, which is like eight bucks on eBay, um, and then what I did is I used some wire ties on both sides, because it comes through, it's supposed to have a little metal clip that holds that connector on there, it ain't, it most likely was not going to come off anyway, but, um, so I just did that to you put one on both sides there's a there's a wire tie there's a wire tie on both sides of that thing and one going around the, the the top and it's not gonna go anywhere then ground it the alternator you put that ground from there and you put the ground I put it right to that little eight millimeter on the back there and uh, that's it and then you close it up and then there you go it doesn't look like a bag of shit you know what I mean? All right, well, it's like a 10 minute video. So we're gonna leave it there and good luck.